Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna start off by apologizing on my last video that I just did uh, yesterday in Hamilton at that rainbow one. I uh, I did that one before and uh, I didn't think, well, I shouldn't say I didn't think I did. When I was actually going, uh, entering, getting ready to enter into the car wash, I thought, geez, because there's a, like a high school, I believe it is, beside it. And I thought, geez, that kind of, looks familiar to me so I was kind of second guessing but I thought no nah, it's relatively new I don't think I've done it and um, sure enough I did it about three years ago so uh, long enough for me to forget about it anyways and geez you know I do so many of these darn car washes uh, it's, it gets to be pretty tough to remember them all I should have wrote them all down from the very beginning had a, had a list of them but I never thought <laughs> when I started this that I'd be that would have done uh, as many as I, as I have so Anyways, uh, with that being said, I want to make it up to you guys, so you're getting a double feature this week. Back-to-back uh, -back car washes. I just um, drove to Paris today. Uh, that's where I am, in Paris, Ontario. I didn't skip across the ocean. And I, I have done this one before, but uh, they changed the system a little while back. So this is a brand new system, and I think they've changed it. And I, honestly, within the last... Um, a few years I think it's changed I'm gonna guess three times because when I originally reviewed this I think it had just changed and I believe if my memory serves me correct it was touchless and then it went to touch and now it's back to touchless so uh, probably within I don't know I'm gonna guess probably five years maybe uh, it's changed that many times so uh, I'm interested to see what uh, touchless system they uh, they went with. I think someone had told me before, but I completely forget. I so I honestly don't know. Uh, this is actually the second person that's gone in there since I've been sitting here. So I'm gonna get out, show you. I'm driving the big cargo van today with my cracked windshield, which somebody asked me the the other day when I was gonna get it fixed. Uh, probably uh, pretty soon. Uh, I, I don't know what it is with this cargo van. It's, as soon as I get it fixed, it's like a couple of months go by and it cracks again. And in the summertime, see what happens is you get the rocks come off of vehicles. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if I can zoom in. It's kind of tough to see, but you'll get a stone chip and it just stays like that. And then when the winter comes, the windshield gets really, really cold. And then when I turn on the heater inside, that quick uh, cold to hot uh, kind of like it expands and contracts and it, uh, it, it creates the crack that goes uh, all over your windshield. So luckily, I've, I've, my cracks have gone along the bottom of the windshield so it doesn't impair my driving at all because there's where I look that way so you don't even see the crack. So I have to kind of look down to, to see the crack so it doesn't bother my driving at all but uh, just kind of irritates me that it's there so anyways gotta get that fixed soon so let's get out have a look at the van uh, let's get some dirt on it the roads are pretty uh, icy it'll have a little bit of snow on it too probably more so along the uh, Oh, yeah, there's some up along the side, and there'll be some on the roof, too. But, yeah, there's some heavy dirt there. We'll see if it gets that off. Uh, see if I can show you the roof. Got a bunch of snow on it. Probably a bit of ice, too. Still got to fix, fix that, but uh, it says not to put it on when it's cold. Well, <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to get a... A warm day because it uses a bit of like a 3m adhesive tape along with screws and they said if you want that adhesive tape to adhere you need uh, kind of milder temperatures so that's why I've been holding off on that so I didn't get gas the uh, car wash cost me $14.99 plus tax which comes to $16.94 uh, I'm gonna assume that if you get gas if you get gas, it'll probably knock two dollars off the price. Alrighty. So this guy just left. 
What's my code? 17051. 84 inch clearance. That's uh, seven feet. Oh, we got an Oasis XP. Wow. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, nice on her body spray. It's not very often, it's pretty rare, but I like it when the underbody spray has a, a timer on, like when you can, they have like a countdown uh, uh, clock in that so you can see I like going, uh, I like going slow on it. No. This is inter interesting. Oh, this, I was getting this confused with the, uh, what is it, the Typhoon? Which one is it that has the forearms? Ooh, what is that? I think that's not the, uh, free soap, because it started out as water. <laughs> I hope it's gonna do a double pass or something here. Nope. Pressure uh, rinse is powerful. Jeez, that's loud. I should blow all the snow and ice off the van for sure. Okay, looks like we're gonna get better coverage hopefully on the trifold. The amount coming out is good, but the, the jets aren't very powerful. Like, it's not really, it didn't really hit the middle of the vehicle very well. It snows good. Rocker panel uh, screw there. Still got soap in that on the side of the van. What is this? Tell you what I like, you get like what it's at least three passes of high pressure rinse. Hmm. 
I guess so this is the spot for your rinse now. Maybe. Sure the dryers kick in, telling me to go forward. <laughs> I can hear my belt squeaking because of the water that got on it. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. It left a dirt streak. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but yeah, right across. Right across here. Huh. That's strange. Shoot. Ugh. Get over the snow here just a sec. That left a little bit of dirt. Huh, it didn't really do it to the passenger side though. Just left a little bit of dirt there coming down from the window. And that squealing will stop as soon as it dries. It did a really good job. Um, just uh, just left the uh, a couple of spots it didn't get, and uh, for weird that dirt streak on the on the one side. But uh, probably just the size of the van and the spray can't spread out enough. But just funny how I did it to the driver's side, not the passenger side. But anyways, I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I actually really enjoyed it. The high pressure rinse is fantastic, and they and what was it like three passes I think. So that's great. Um, my only real complaint was the uh, pre-soak at the beginning. It was basically just water. So that was uh, disappointing. That could use some improvement. But other than that, uh, I thought it was uh, was pretty good. Um, definitely more worthwhile if you get a gas purchase and probably save that, uh, that extra two bucks. Probably be better value at that point. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. It's been a while since I've done a, an Oasis like this. So anyways... Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, double feature this week for you guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks a lot for, for watching. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, are these systems usually uh, ones that you guys uh, recommend and enjoy? Uh, let me know. But uh, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to post this on Instagram right now. I'll let everybody know. And uh, probably be uploaded to uh, YouTube in just a few hours. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one, everyone. Uh, Take care and uh, look forward to seeing you 
next weekend for the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.